trees that are part, uh, planted on either side of a street light and stop sign. I mean, there, there's another tree that's right next to a fire hydrant. There's sidewalk that's busted up, you know, 100 feet away. All of these things to me seem like a higher priority than um, squash. Los Angeles, a city full of overgrown weeds like this, and litter like this, and totally messed up sidewalks like this. So why did city officials crack down on a front yard that looks like this? My name is Angel Tager. I've lived in South LA for just about three years now. All of these plants, everything, the bricks, the trees, the plants, and all of these fruit trees had to go. Angel received this citation from the city, telling her to get rid of her garden within 48 hours or else start paying fines. I was upset, you know? I really can't explain why we were singled out because there are other problems that definitely would deserve more priority, but he felt it was important for us to take everything out within 48 hours, so it was a priority for him. Luckily, the same group who helped her plant the garden rushed to her defense. They call themselves LA Green Grounds. If the city wanted Angel to restore the parkway to what it was before, it would be an unsightly, weedy strip of land. And this is true in many areas of Los Angeles. We're using a space that normally would just go wasted and underused. They've run into problems with the city before and have been fighting for years for the simple right to plant front yard gardens on the parkways. The person who owns the adjacent to the sidewalk property owns the parkway. The city does not own the parkway, but the city has an interest in it. There are water lines and other things that affect the city. In the case of Angel's Garden, I really don't see why she was cited. There's nothing oversized, is obstructing view. In fact, a car would not be able to park to allow a passenger off at this intersection. I think that sometimes they set their priorities to appear to be productive and going after um, issues that are, they believe or may perceive that are easy to solve and either bring revenue into the city or to just appear to be busy. For now, the city has suspended enforcement of the ordinance and Angel gets to keep her garden. The bigger concern is to get the ordinance changed because this is a growing movement. Bureaucracy has gotten uh, things to the point where it's very complicated. All these different departments need to review and approve and send it back for signatures or whatever. But really what we're asking for is something very simple, is to update the acceptable planting list to include fruits and vegetables. It's an idea that's spreading, and I would hate for anyone else to have to go through the hassle that I went through. <laughs>